Hi again. When I left off last time, uh, we were creating some a list of posts here, and each of the posts has a link on it. And clicking the link displays the post in the uh, the console. So let me let me actually refresh that right. So you know when I click on this post here, we can see the name in the console. And what's happening here is as we click on a post, it's going to activate this function here. And the function is going to create a request to parse. So we're going to create a query. And this query is going to match the object ID of the post and find that record or that object in the table. Okay, so it's going to find one post in the table and display it. And right now we're just printing the title to the uh, to the output window or the console, right? So what I'd like to do now is I would like to display the entire post up here at the top of the page. So imagine this, like maybe you have a whole list of posts, but you want to be able to tap on one and then display details about that particular post. So, so let's do that. So first of all, we need a little bit of um, HTML markup that we can use to display our post data. So this, um, this UL right here is going to display the list of posts. And then above that, I have a form, which is the, um, the post form. See, this is where you can create a new post. So maybe uh, right here between the two, we'll add a div. And we'll use this div to display the post in sort of a detail form. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a couple tags and give them some IDs that we can use to target with our JavaScript. So this h1 maybe will be the title. So we'll say post uh, detail title. And then maybe I'll put a paragraph below it and give it an ID. And we'll call this post detail um, how about content. I think that's the name that I used for the field here. So the title will go in the title and the content will go in the content. Okay. You know, so the post detail title will will collect the title and post detail content will hold the content. Okay, so let's continue here. And maybe maybe we'll show the author's name too. Maybe I'll put that in a small tag. And I'll put an ID on here. Post detail author. Okay. And uh, and there we go. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we need a way to know um, which post this is. So the way that we can identify a post uniquely is through its object ID. So I'm going to give this div up here an ID name. And I'll call it post detail. How about that? And then I'm going to add another attribute here called data ID. And, you know, I don't even really need to put that in there. I'm going to add it with JavaScript, but I'll put it here. And, the you know, just to show you, you know, that what's going to happen is we're going to fill this in with the text here and here and here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the ID for the post right here. And that'll mean that, you know, essentially it'll be a way for us to mark this block with the ID. You know, it'll all be a little package, right? It'll have all the details for the post, and then it'll also have the ID number. And then we won't have to see the ID number, but it'll be there. And we can grab it later when we need it, okay? So we won't actually use this now, but it'll be in there, and we'll use it in the future. Okay, so we got post detail, post detail title, author, and content. So let's scroll back down here to our... our um, list posts on click A, right? So this is when we click one of the post links right in the list. And then right here where console, we're using the console to write the title into the page. 
But what I think I'm going to do now is we're going to get the title and put it in a variable. And we'll say results item 0 get title just like we did in the first line here with the console, right? So let's delete that. We won't even need that anymore. And then we're going to get the um, the content. So we'll say results get content, okay? And if we want to get the author, right, so that'll be the user, and then I'll want to get the username, right? What we'll need to do is we'll need to include that because our user is in this table here, or this column, right? So, or the column of this table, right? So this is the column containing the user, but remember the user is a pointer to an object in another table, right? So in order to include this object and you know, everything in the other table along with it, right? If we just get this user out of this table, it'll just give us the ID. But if we tell Parse to also include this, this object, it'll also bring the object along with it, right? And it'll bring all the, all the other data here with it, okay? So what we'll do is we'll say, I'm going to modify our query a second time, right? And we did this earlier. So uh, I've, right now I've said, you know, query equal to, let's also say query include, and this will say get an object from another table, right? If it's a pointer, like the, you know, a field that's a pointer and, you know, include the object that that pointer points to. So, you know, we have a, a column called user and that user column is a pointer that points to the user table and I want to include that user object in all of its properties okay so I'll say include user and then down here we'll get the user with dot get right and uh, we'll have to say user, right? And now to get the username, this user is a parse object and we can do get on that too. So we'll say, um, how about username is user dot get. And then uh, I think the, tab the field name was username, right? And we can just confirm that here. Yeah, look, username, all lowercase, right? So, uh, so there we go. And then I guess the last thing we need is the ID. So let's say var ID equals results item zero. And remember, ID is a special property, and we can just get it directly. We don't have to use get. Okay? I guess, Lewis, I, I think you can use get object ID to get the object ID, but, you know, ID actually is a kind of a shortcut to that one. Okay? So there we go. So now all we need to do is put these things into our um, our HTML. So uh, I'll start with jQuery here, and we'll do uh, post detail title dot HTML, and then we'll put the title in there, and then we'll say post um, detail author dot html will be username and then we'll say uh, post uh, detail content will be content and then last I want to take the ID and assign it to that attribute that we added called data ID. So let's target the post uh, detail div. And to set an attribute, we'll do ATTR for attribute. And then we'll name the attribute 
data ID, that's the name of the attribute you want to set, and then comma, we set the value that we want to assign to the attribute. Okay, so there we go. Post detail, set the attribute to of data ID to this ID value. Okay, let's give it a test. So I saved all that. Let's refresh our page. We'll pull up the console just in case there's an error. You know, sometimes you have an error. You gotta you gotta spot them before they happen, right? So uh, so there we go. Um, right now we don't see the detail area because there's you know it's just tags, but they're all empty. So um, let's click on post geo. Oh look, post geo was posted by hello and then post a geo point from the iOS simulator. And that's something I want to do in a future video where maybe when we post these these you know new posts, it's going to grab the geo data and then save it to parse along with the post. So maybe maybe our app um you know, you can create posts, but it'll also mark like where you created them. And Parse has kind of a cool little feature that allows you to compare geo points. And uh, I haven't tried this yet, but uh, I was reading about it a little, I saw a little blurb about it, and it sounds like you can kind of, you know, find the distance between geo points. So maybe you could, you know, say like, show me all the geo points that are in a certain area or show me all the posts that were posted in an area. So that could be like an interesting feature that you could add to an app of some kind, right? So I'm going to do that here. I don't know. Like I'm just kind of adding features here just to kind of illustrate how they work. I'm not really making a, you know, really well thought out app. I'm just trying to illustrate the ideas, but I thought I'd throw in the geo points there for anybody that wanted to experiment with that. So let's click on this one. Hello, right? Oh, look, there's a hello post, right? Okay. So that's working pretty good. So uh, again, what's happening here is when we click on the post here, we're making a request to parse, and we're requesting and then matching using query.equal to. We're matching the object ID to pull out one single object and display it. And then we used include to include the object that belongs to this pointer in the user table, right? And so the goal here is once we've got this displaying, now I want to add a little field down here, that a little form with a couple fields that allow you to comment on this post. And then we'll show all the comments associated with each post. Okay, so so you know we'll when we when we do that, we'll uh, we'll have the form grab the ID that's part of the div here, so it'll know which which post to assign the comment to, right? So there's our data ID right there that has the ID number that's specific to this post, right? So if I click on, you know, parse is fun, then you can see like the the value here change to the object ID that matches this post, right? Okay? So anyway, so we'll, we'll do that in, over the next few videos, but, um, you know, hope this is useful for somebody. Um, thanks for watching.